On Tuesday, June 4th, Flagstaff City Council gave direction to staff to move forward with new proposed rates for the water, wastewater, and reclaimed water rate study. The new proposed rates reduce the impact to customers by implementing a 5% reduction to rate increases over the first four years. Our online rate calculator has been updated to reflect these new changes. This free-to-use tool allows you to compare your current water and sewer charges against the proposed water and sewer charges for the next five years. Let's take a look. To get started, you will first need your Municipal Services Bill Statement in front of you. This is the bill for all the services the City of Flagstaff provides, including water services. In this case, we are only looking at the fees for potable water and wastewater services. This sample Municipal Services Bill is for a water-efficient single-family household that uses 4,550 gallons of water per month. If you're accessing your bill online, note that the City of Flagstaff has changed their online electronic bill payment platform to Invoice Cloud. The method to access the platform remains the same. Go to www.flagstaff.az.gov, then navigate to the drop-down menu. Select I want to pay my utility bill. From here, click Pay Online in the menu. This will bring you to the login page for the new platform. When you log in, your new landing page will look like this. Your monthly bills will be listed here, and you can see the due date for each item. Click View Invoice to go to your Municipal Services Bill Statement. Once you have your bill statement in front of you, it will look like this. You can see the numbers we'll want to pay attention to are Tier 1 Residential Water Charge Tier 2 Residential Water Charge and Sewer Charge. The other fees here won't be impacted by this rate proposal as they cover other services like wildland fire management, recycling, and stormwater. Remember, this rate study only affects your water and sewer charges. Now that we have our Municipal Services Bill Statement, we're ready to use the Water Rates Calculator. Go to www.cleanwaterflagstaff.com and click on Rate Calculator in the top menu. Here is the updated calculator. You can see that there are four steps. Six editable areas highlighted in orange, and a lot of information on how to input the correct data. Step one is a calculator for just your water bill. Step two is a calculator for just your wastewater bill. Step three shows both charges together. Step four allows you to adjust the forecast time period by year. You can also see that we've made changes to show exactly which forecast time period you are viewing rates for. There are five years affected in the new rate model, from September 1, 2024 to December 31, 2029. First, let's calculate your water charge using the blue box in Step 1. You'll need to know your household's water usage, reflected in the Tier residential water rows. For this example, you can see that while your household used 4,550 gallons of water this month, 3,500 were charged within the first tier, while the remaining 1,050 gallons were charged to the second tier. As you use more water, your bill will get pushed into higher tiers, but only for the amount exceeding the ceiling of the previous tier which in this case is 3500 for Tier 1. You can read more about this in the Understanding Your Residential Bill document in the Resources page on cleanwaterflagstaff.com. Back in the calculator, enter the full water usage for your household, which is 4,550 gallons. You may have to double-click. 
Note that this number may be higher or lower month to month, especially when comparing winter to summer usage. A lot of people use water for outdoor use in the summer, so their July bill may be higher than their January bill. You may want to use multiple bill statements to check how your bill will change at different times of the year. Next, we'll adjust the monthly base meter charge. This charge is listed at the top of your Municipal Services Bill Statement. There are a fixed number of options, but you want to make sure this number is correct. Finally, select your customer class. Select Residential if you are checking the rates for your home. You'll see that the total current and proposed water charges are automatically calculated. Before we look at these, let's calculate the wastewater charge. Input the usage amount reflected in the sewer charge category of your municipal services bill statement. Here, we can see your usage is 2,090 gallons per month. Note that your sewer gallons might be lower than your monthly drinking water usage. This is because the city estimates your household sewer gallons production based on the average of your December, January, February, and March water consumption. If you have questions about this process, you can call our customer service number 928-213-2400. In the calculator, input your sewer usage, 2,090 gallons. Make sure your customer class is correct once again. For this example, we'll select Residential again. Once again, you'll see that the total current and proposed sewer charges are automatically calculated. Note that the proposed sewer charge includes an added base charge. The proposed base charge is based on your meter size and if implemented, will provide revenue stability to the wastewater fund. This base charge will be collected from all customers, regardless of if they are full-time or part-time residents or businesses. Now you can compare your existing water and wastewater charge to the proposed charges. Here is your existing water and sewer charge. And here is the proposed water and sewer charge. Note that for some households in the first or second year, the proposed water and sewer charges may be lower. This is because the rate study included a cost of service adjustment to all customer classes, which in some cases lowered volumetric rates. For more information on the cost of service analysis, you can view the draft report on the resources page of cleanwaterflagstaff.com. By default, the calculator will show you the new rate for the first year of the rate change, which spans from September 2024 to December 2025. You can choose a different year from the drop-down menu in Step 4. You can see, as I select different years, that the proposed charge changes. If you have questions or need assistance using the Water Rates Calculator, please feel free to reach out through our contact form or by using the number listed at the bottom of this webpage, 928-213-2400. You can also use our contact form to leave comments or feedback on the proposed rates. We'll be putting forth a summary of comments and questions to City Council before their final vote on the proposed rates on June 18th and July 2nd. And your comment could make a difference. We want to hear from you.